you know, I got to work on Moana. I started Moana when I was 15. Then the movie came out when I was 16. I'm 17 now. And I got to really grow up with the character. She's headstrong and brave and loves her family so much. And now that I get to revoice her in Hawaiian, now she connects me to my culture in, in another way. So I feel so grateful for her. And now just a plethora of ways, really. E maui, kupuo o kamakani me ke kai, o wau o moana no motu nui. E e i ko uwaa, a ole, e i no i ko uwaa. E, o wau o moana no motu nui. E e no i ko u... Hawaiian is a beautiful language, and I must say that how far I'll go has never sounded so beautiful than it does in the Hawaiian language. Mm. It's also a little bit of a challenge for me. I will be the first to admit that I am not fluent in Olelo Hawaii. I've taken it for years, and you know, I, I've really tried my best for this. And I get to say that I've worked with an amazing team as well, Aaron Sala and Kumupua Kea Nogomeyer. So I get to work with incredible people who will help me through the little flubs that I make in language. In English, thank you and you're welcome are a pair of idioms. I say thank you, you say you're welcome, whether you stepped out of my way or whether you saved my life. It's one size fits all. It doesn't work that way in Hawaiian. Thank you. Mahalo works for everything. There's like nine levels of your welcome. From it's non-existent to it's minor to it's you know no problem to I'm happy to do it and you know it just keeps going up. Well, none of those fits that setting or those many settings. So, how did so we you... turned it on its end and we said instead of saying you're welcome, he says I did it for you. I got an email, I believe it was on a Sunday, I was watching football, and then I opened up my phone and I was in the set of your cast, and I was like, oh cool, so I scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and they're like, you're casted as Maui, and I was like, wow. Shocker! Did uh, you feel like Maui? Uh, I was a little bit. I was. I was a little bit feeling myself, feeling pretty good. But after that, you just gotta take it off and be like, okay, it's time to like actually do this character now. It's not just about the audition. It's about the process. So yeah, you try to put that behind and stay humble along the way. Moana in English really connected with a worldwide audience and I think she kind of just reminded all of us to think outside the box, to journey no matter how far it is, to figure out who we are and what it is that that voice is, is telling us and calling for us to do. So to hear that in Hawaiian I think it will really influence an entire generation of young Hawaiians like me, who are hopefully going to learn more about their culture, who will be inspired to learn their language, to become fluent in that, because it is a dying language. So all in all, I'm, I'm 17, and I'm really excited to inspire just so many individuals to learn more about themselves.